Good morning. When I was in the eighth grade, my brother was a repeat junior at Salisbury. I attended his Millbrook for Salisbury lacrosse game and immediately fell in love. Talking to Coach Wynn after that game and seeing all those players who looked like they were 25 years old made me want to be a part of the Salisbury experience. Needless to say, I would not have come here for my brother, Ben. He let me know that attending Salisbury would be hard work and that sometimes it would, it would be lonely, but that I would learn how to take charge of my life. He told me how throughout the years there would be times when I would think to myself, why am I here? But he also told me that coming to Salisbury was the best decision of his life. I remember attending the New England football championship when Ben's team won, the first year here for Coach Phelps, and I could see the brotherhood of all the players. I wanted to be a part of that. Ben finished Salisbury with an all Irish League award in football and the Sean Bowler Memorial Award in lacrosse, and he even won the Forestry Award. His Salisbury experience helped him to prepare for college and graduate in only four years. When Coach Phelps talks to his team about Ben's hard work as a multi-sport athlete, I know that I'm following my brother's footsteps. When I arrived my sophomore year for preseason football, I met one of my two roommates, Will Nears. He actually went to Cardian with one of my best friends from home, so we instantly had a connection. After our parents left, we went to our practices. He played soccer. And after having two practices, we were in bed at 10 p.m., which is the earliest I think I've ever gone to bed here. We were just sitting there moaning about the amount of pain we were in. Nothing back home was like this. We felt like our legs had just been crushed by two 100-pound weights, and we had no idea why we were here. I remembered my brother's warning and was surprised to be asking, why am I here on my very first day at the hilltop? I had to remind myself of the great reward my brother told me about, too. We survived preseason, and our next roommate came, Eric Zim. Weird Zim, as we call him. Zim and Nears are some of the funniest guys I've ever met, along with many others. Our bonds of brotherhood were sealed that very first year. Over the next few months of school, Zim and I were fitting in well and getting to know everybody, but Will was not doing so great. I honestly think for the first four months, he had the same unhappy routine every single day. I remember a funny incident that sort of lightened him up, though. It was at the end of study hall, and I'd sort of got Mr. Manio pretty ticked off for not doing my math homework. <laughs> After he left our room, Mr. Manio heard me say a, a naughty word. So let's just say when he came back in, he was not the happiest guy. He came in screaming his head off at me, and when he was done, he proceeded to try to slam the door. Well, he couldn't slam the door because of the pressurized hinges, so he shouted, If I could slam this freaking door, I would. <laughs> and then stormed <laughs> off. <laughs> I think we all laughed for an hour while I was peeing our pants. <laughs> Nearest was a missful after that night. He realized that there was actually fun to be had if he just let himself laugh. By the spring, Zim, Jake, got it, and I were finally able to convince Will to buy in. And we all had a blast. Even though he made mistakes and has not graduated from Salisbury with us, the bonds he made are lasting. And he grew as an individual while he was here. Everyone here deals with overcoming obstacles every single day. Whether it's about academics, sports, or personal issues, we all go through them. I want to speak to all the younger students sitting here today. I want to relay a message. When I interviewed at Salisbury, I was told that if I buy in, if I give the effort to be a brother, a team player, instead of focusing just on me, that I would have unlimited success. We all get lonely on the hilltop, and we would all love weekends with parties and girls, but we're all here to grow into men, into leaders, and that takes self-sacrifice. None of this will happen if you stand in the crowd and not make a name for yourself and complain every day. Look at Jake and me. Sophomore year, we were hooting and hollering at school meeting, 
and to this day we can never miss one without everyone noticing. Is that a bad thing? Probably, but who cares? <laughs> you need to make yourself known and bring out everything inside of you that you've never brought out before. You need to take advantage of how special this school is and realize that when it's over, you will miss it like crazy. I've made some of the best relationships I will ever make here. Even if they have already left or will still be here on the hilltop after I leave, I will always hold on to these relationships. The bonds you make here with your brothers are unbreakable. Years from now, I know I, re I will recall the moments that made this place so memorable for me. Whether it was watching Matt got that sprint back to Payson to find Jordan Kaplan, seeing Drew and Chambers tuddle, Cap and Weird Zim dancing fringe tops around Jake and his tutu and tights, or cheering for Wallace as he scores his first basket in our last basketball game of the season. So please, every time you think about how it would be so much better living at home or going to a co-ed school, picture my face. Picture <laughs> Jake and me coming up behind you and slapping your butt. <laughs> or picture Webster climbing a tree. <laughs> Salisbury School helps to mold young men into leaders that will make a difference in the lives of others. Salisbury gives you the chance to step out of your comfort zone and try new things. Seize these opportunities, and don't be so quick to say no when you're asked to do something here. <clears throat> Saying yes may be the best decision you could make, and you may surprise yourself. I have stepped out of my shoes and done things that I've never dreamed of. Singing in the choir thanks to Jake, being King Arthur in the play because Mr. Bro really wanted to spice things up, and getting elected vice president, which was one of my greatest accomplishments. Watching yesterday's speeches was tough for me. Sitting in the audience, I remembered how hard Jake and I had worked on our campaign last year. And I remembered how excited I was to, to make a positive impact as an elected leader in my senior year at Salisbury. Having that title taken away because of my poor decision was one of the toughest times I've ever had to go through. But I was told that, that being a leader does not mean that you have to have a title, but that you have to lead by example in all that you do. I have learned from that experience, and I hope that I have shown to all of you through my leadership, through my actions. Even though I don't get to stand next to Jake and talk the senior steps at school meeting anymore, I've never missed one. And my very loud voice is still heard hooting and hollering, supporting my brothers. I am so grateful that I attended Salisbury. I am so thankful for every single teacher here who believed in me and was there every step of the way. This school has truly brought out the best in me, and I'm going to miss every moment, good and bad, here on the hilltop. To all the third, fourth, and fifth formers, please listen to what I've said. My hope for you is that you get to the point of feeling like I do today. You need to look back at your Salisbury career and realize that these have been the best years of your life. You have made some of the best relationships you will ever have, and you're ready to take your leadership skills and represent Salisbury and its great tradition for the rest of your life. Do this now because before you know it, it will be two weeks before your graduation and you'll be standing in front of the school giving a chapel talk about how you can't believe your time here is almost over. I just want to thank all the boys and faculty members for making this such an unforgettable segment of my life. Thank you.